Hello everybody. Welcome to another video of Excel Academy. Today we will be discussing about labor cost. Let us see what is labor cost. Labor cost is a very important element of cost in those organizations which has a huge labor force. It includes wages and other benefits given to the employees or laborers by the organization. What are the different types of labor cost? They are monetary benefits deferred monetary benefits and fringe benefits monetary benefits include basic wages the earnest allowance and production bonus deferred monetary benefits include employer's contribution to provident fund and employee state insurance that is esi gratuity and profit bonus fringe benefits include free or subsidized food housing and education medical and hospital expenses borne by the organization for the employees or laborers these are the different elements of cost that the organization pay for their to their employees so let us discuss what is labor turnover labor turnover is nothing but Uh, when the employees switch from one job to another that is known as labor turnover for an organization it is the ratio of number of employees leaving the organization in a period to the average number of employees employed during that period all the lo losses must be taken into account regardless of the cause of leaving you no matter what the reason of the employee to leave the organization even then be it personal or professional we have to take that as a cost that is like a labor turnover how do we measure this labor turnover there are three types of uh, methods using which we will measure labor turnover that is separation method replacement method or net labor turnover method and labor flux rate method so how do we calculate separation method separation method is the sep uh, the formula for separation method is separation during the period divided by average number of workers during that period that is sep uh, employees those are, who have been separated from the organization average number of workers will be the workers during the beginning of the period in the organization plus workers during the end of the period whole divided by 2 replacement method or net labor turnover method number of replacements during the period that is those employees who have been replaced by the organization to fill up the vacancies divided by average number of uh, average workforce during the period into 100 labor flux rate method that is it's the combination of separation method and replacement method number of separation plus number of employees divided by average number of workforce into 100 now let us solve them on all the three methods relevant data regarding number of workers on roll is given below for june 2016 at the beginning of the month there were 750 employees at the end of the month 850 During June 2016, 10 workers left the organization, 30 workers were discharged, and 100 workers were recruited. Of these employees, 15 workers were recruited in the vacancy of those leaving. That is, these were the employees who were replaced, while the rest were engaged for an expand expansion scheme. Now let us solve the problem. Separation method. How do we uh, how do we find the number of employees separated? That is, number of separation. Ten workers who left plus the thirty workers who were recruited by eight hundred. That is, average number of employees into hundred. That will give us the five percent. Average number of employees. How do we get eight hundred? That is, workers during the beginning of the period. That is seven fifty. Plus at the end of the period is eight fifty divided by two. That will give us eight hundred employees. That is average number of employees who have worked for the organization for the period. 
now let us find out the percentage using replacement method number of replacements divided by average number of employees number of replacements in the given problem is 15 divided by average number of employees is 800 the into 100 that will give us 1.88 percent and now flux method labor flux method number of additions plus number of separations divided by average number of employees 100 employees were recruited during the period plus number of separations as we have found out earlier that is 10 plus 30 will give us 40 number of separate uh, employees separated whole divided by average number of employees 800 into 100 that is 17.5 percent that will get us to the end of the topic we will be updating you with more number of problems in this chapter for that please follow excel academy thank you